Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Folklore, where we unravel the mysteries of digital sky. I'm Bruless Ebo, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your virtual machine running on your local computer to your VS Code using um, an extension called Remote SSH. Now, this setup allows you to use your VM seamlessly within your VS Code, making the development process much more easier and more efficient. Let's get to it. So I would assume that you already have a virtual machine spinned up. Um, this tutorial is going to teach you how to um, set up a virtual machine on your local computer. This tutorial is to teach you how to connect a virtual machine that's already running on your local computer to your VS Code. So I'm going to assume for the purpose of this tutorial that you already have your, uh, what do you call it, you already have your um, virtual machine set up on your local computer. First thing you want to do is spin up that virtual machine. So let's go to do that. So I'm going to... I think I'll use my test VMs. Okay, so I think we can use this one. So I'll just quickly run Vagrant up on mine. Okay, I have to wait for some time so I can spin up. Run. Uh, background SSH. So, it gives me access to that VM. Um, I want to take one of the IP addresses because that's what I will use. Um, okay, then we can use one system. That is one. I'll come back to it. Okay. Let's use one six two. We'll just quickly copy this, all right? Uh, and keep aside somewhere. That way, I'll come back to it when I want to um source that IP for my computer. So the thing is that if you don't have an um, SSH key pair on your local machine, you need to set that up. So let me quickly exit. Let me go back to the home directory. So um, I would want to set up um, an SSH key pair for my, um, I'll just take it through. I already have an SSH key pair on my um, local machine that I can use for my VM, but that's fine. I'm just gonna quickly create another one so that we can work through the process. Mm, I think I will use ED, it's a type. I prefer using this one. Um, got a comment, new message key. Let's go. I think I did something wrong. Okay, yeah. Comments for C. Oh, I used um small caps, small um letters instead of capital. This I think this should run now. Yeah. So um, inside file in which to save the key. So I think I would want to use um slash users. I want to use this part, but not fully. Search user slash oh, I'll give it another name. Let's call it VS Code. I think I have a name like that. So let's call it VS Code 2. Oh, I know okay, this is the second um, message key I have for connected. That's good. I think this is good. Don't need a phrase. This is fine. Um, okay, I think we created our SSH key pair. So the next thing we'd want to do is to copy that SSH key pair to our, um, our virtual machine. But let's quickly check whether SSH key pair is right. So if you see into thing.ssh um, list, you'd see that we have our, um, our VS Code 2. So basically, we're going to be copying the public key down to our virtual machine, right? So I'll quickly cut the public key. 
Yeah, so this is the public key. So this public so I said, let's just copy this um, key, send it over. Okay. Um yeah, so take a copy. Okay. Just to make sure that we have that. So if we pass our authorized key file right now, we have it there. So we can move on to the next um, step. The next step would be um, putting up the settings. So if you are within your .sh, um, your .sh folder, you just have to go into this um, file, .config, um, behind, so you just have to be into config. Now, this configuration file allows you to set um, host name, user, and identity file for that particular um, virtual machine you want to access via your VS Code. Now, if you are not within the SSH directory, you can manually go into, you can see into those SSH or you can use this full pass, uh, vi um, home dash dot SSH. Yeah, um, yeah, SSH and uh, config. Yeah, so basically this is the settings that you would want to put up. Hold on, I need to use um, sudo on this. Sudo. I just put sudo so that will be able to change the settings. Mm, test VM, okay, let's call it test VM master. Host name will be the IP address of virtual machine. If you really get that. I'm just wrong. I do uh, get this one quickly. Yeah, that's good. Um, the user's uh, background. Yeah, and the identity file. I'll just copy this. I'm not using this exact identity file. I just, I'll just, I'll, I'll edit something. I just want to copy this side take less time to I think our full part was um, home dot SSH, SSH, SSH yeah I think the one we used was VM the key the file we used was VM no it was I think VS code like uh, I think it was VS code yes. <laughs> I think we are good I think we are good. I think we are good. Um, the next thing you'd want to do is add on to your VS Code. First, you want to do is install remote SSH if you don't have it. I'm going to add a link to the extension just to get it. Uh, you have to go to your extension, search for remote SSH if you're on your VS Code already. Um, this is it. And you just have to install it. So then when it's done installing, then you just have to go to, you have to open your command palette. So there are two ways to open your command palette, right? You either open your command palette using um, function key and F1, right? Or for Mac users, I think you can use shift command P. Yeah, that works. I think for Windows, it should be shift control P if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure I'm using a Mac, so can't really verify that, but that doesn't work with shift control P doesn't work. Always you can use the function key and F1. I think that should work. To open your command palette. Uh, yeah, then you um, so you search for um, uh, remote SSH connect to host. You know, we already set up the host via our um, local machine, via our um, command line in our local machine. So it should automatically appear in your VS code. So just search for remote SSH um, connect to host. Once you do that, now you see the new one. This was the former one I was using. You can see the new um, test GM um, that we set up right here. So you just have to click on it. It takes you to a new page. Let me quickly zoom this in. I'll assess my password. Everything is good. Uh, automatically, uh, 
on it. That just gives a bit of time. Great, we have been able to um, assess our test VM. So now, um, let me just run something quickly on the terminal. So you see that it's exactly the same VM. Close this debug mode. Um, uh, let's run something. Let's list first. You can see that Ansible, which is um, the same um, directory we had on that VM. This is exactly the same one here. I can do IPDDR. You can see it's the same IP, right? So you see that now I have full access of my VM via um, remote SSH. I can easily go to file, open folder, backgrounds, access any of this folder I want to. I can even create, um, this is fine. I can even create a new folder. Okay. Now let's just, this is fine. I will create a new folder here. Go to my terminal. Um, this is the button. And create um, make directory new project. Right. I make a new directory here and access it. I can go to yeah. I can access it. I can create a code. So within new um, within this new uh, folder, let's say I create something. I create a new code in desktop.html. Right. I can write what I want. Right. Write what I want. I can save it. I can run this um things, this setup directly from my VS Code. So um I don't need to now uh be used, I don't need to use like uh, my command line for um my what do you call it? I don't need to use my command line anymore to um assess my my virtual machine if I want to run some setups now it's easier to use vs code to code if i'm being sincere right? it's easier to use vs code for your index so imagine you want to long you want to write a very long um file you want to write a very long um code um let's say to create um probably to run um let's say a terraform um code now to probably run some configurations on your aws account on your Azure account think about how how slow it's going to be if you're actually doing that on your um command line using uh um, what do you call it using your normal nano editor or um or your vi editor right it's easier to connect this to your vs code and do everything in real time right it makes the process of development faster and seamless i can just easily do what i want to do on my on terminal right here um create a new file access that file write my code push what i want to push right this makes it really really easy to like do all that like um use uh to assess your vm and do whatever you want to do so um i hope this video has been helpful i hope uh, you're able to follow along if you if you've watched it the first time you you were able to follow along if you watch it again i'm sure you go so you go to follow along and get it this time uh just watch it if you have any questions you can reach out to me via my linkedin or twitter my dms are open or you can leave a comment um below and i will also reply to those comments if you want me to um create a content for a particular um um but if you want me to create content for a particular topic you can reach out to me um if it's something i feel would be worth the time i definitely would um thank you for watching please be kind enough to share subscribe and like thank you